Yeah, it's, it's hard to put my finger on just what it is, um, you know, about the place because um, I think about that often. I think about, like, is it because of where it's situated in the community? Is it because it's architecturally such a beautiful building? Is it because so many people who have resided in that building have um, cared for the space as, as a place to um, unite and be together? So there's that vibration that fills that space. But I don't, I don't think it's just in the space, I think it's in the people who are there. It's a beautiful place to be. Something that's unique to early childhood is that the, the environment is really considered the third teacher. And so the way that the environment is, is laid out, it's very intentional. Bax is a, is a very safe place to be. The kids, they feel safe on a lot of different levels. Not only safe from danger, but also um, just free of any kind of judgment or um, someone who would stop them from being, you know, who they are. My favorite part of the day is center time. I really like watching the kids play. I can see that in their play they're reaching for ideas and they're reaching for abilities that are just beyond their current knowledge. It's a time when they're really able to experiment and take risks. It really gives me um, a window into how their imagination is guiding their learning. And I, I just love to watch that. I love to be part of it. And I love to figure out ways to respond to it. A way that I've seen children grow in, in my classroom is in their identity as a reader. Because there's so many wonderful books that are shared throughout the course of the day, children, they end up finding their favorite book or their favorite author, and then they ask for that book to be read over and over, and they, they take on the language of the book and the themes of the book and um, the ideas in the book. That's been a really fun thing for me, just to watch them develop a love for reading and a positive attitude toward reading and books. Bax is a community because everybody who works there is very intentional about making it feel like a welcoming place to the students and their families. Because it's such a supportive environment, teachers end up staying a long time, which means that teachers stay with families and watch them grow and expand. Over the years, you welcome in the siblings and the cousins and the nieces and the nephews, so teachers become a real feature of the environment and of the community. There's a really diverse teaching staff. A lot of the teachers have a lot of different perspectives about what good education looks like. Everyone gets that there's no one right way, which makes it a place where um, people are really able to just um, give and receive different practices that work for kids and not everything works for every kid and so just being able to draw on different perspectives of education has really helped us to be able to reach just a, a larger you know more diverse group of kids the directors Kristen and Jen are very intentional about making it a place where um, teachers can grow themselves and you know it's a place where people's strengths are really honored and nurtured and it's a place where as a teacher you can really hone your craft and just become the kind of teacher that you've always dreamed of becoming. My dream for them is that they develop a positive self-identity and agency and um, that they feel a freedom to learn um, with curiosity and wonder. My dream for them is for them to feel always that they're part of a community and that they have valuable gifts um, to offer that community. Um, my dream for them is to be aware of their gifts and to feel like they have access to the people and um, the places that will help them nurture those gifts.